Welcome back to Crowns Crypto Cave and welcome to this next entry within this options tutorial series. Today we will get our first introduction into the Greeks. Yes, meet the Greeks. We're going to be talking about Delta today. The Greeks are very important to understand what your positional exposure is, where your risk lies, what your what your position is likely to to, to how your position is likely to respond given 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 certain responses in price action. All of these things coming into confluence with each other, which are represented most easily and most visibly by the Greeks. So again today we're going to be focusing on Delta, perhaps the most important of them all, although of course they all have importance, but this is the one that I would say that I probably pay attention to the most. So let's waste no more time getting a live scene right over here. And you can see at the top of your options summary screen, you're always going to have the delta of your options. You're always going to see the delta of each and every um, strike as well. The delta represented right here for the calls, the delta represented right here for the puts. Can we see that on screen? Yes, we can. Okay, great. So what does it mean? What is delta? Delta is, delta represents the change in your profit and loss for a one point change in the price of the underline. Again, the price of the underline in this, in this scenario being Bitcoin. So how does that act? What does that actually mean? Well, each and every time that we put on a position with options, there's gonna be a delta associated with that. The delta itself is based off of the likelihood of Bitcoin, uh, sorry, the likelihood of that strike to close in the money at expiration. So obviously these very deep in the money uh, calls over here are going to have a very high delta. I mean, basically it's one for all intents and purposes. Anything that gets closer to that, to the at the money is gonna be, you know, closer to about 0.5 around there to represent that in things that are further out of the money, they are going to be near zero as it's very unlikely to happen. So, Delta is very important in that way. Now, understand that for every one Bitcoin that you own, as an example, you have one positive delta, meaning that for every tick up in the price of Bitcoin, the underline, you will make one dollar. When I explain it like that, it's probably not, you know, not uh, uh, overwhelming or anything like that which it shouldn't be. This is actually a very, uh, very simple thing. I mean, it, it gets confusing when people start talking about derivatives, you know, but it, technically it is. But at the end of the day, let's just go over it practically. So let's think of it in another way. If the delta of these options represents the likelihood that each, that that contract, that that strike is likely to close in the money, well, can we make some assumptions here? I mean, basically, these guys, all the deeps are going to be one delta, unless if there's a major move down, you know, to, to 30, to 3,300. I mean, these are, these are basically going to close in the money. They're one delta. And for each and every contract that you own, it's going to likely act as one delta. If I were to buy a bunch of uh, options contracts over here at 4375 strike, those are nowhere near in the money. They're practically near zero, zero delta. So even if I bought a hundred of these things, it would technically be what a four delta. Um, that's it's 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 really zero. in practicality, it's zero. It's unlikely to happen. Of course, just because it's unlikely does not mean that it won't happen. But I want to make it very clear and very in, 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 of the of the actual practicality of how these things work, not just give you an understanding that you can get from in you know a, a Wikipedia or some shit like that, where it just says that's it means that if the price goes up 0.4, then you're gonna make 0.4. It's like no. Right, technically speaking, if the price of Bitcoin went up one, you'd make four cents for every contract that you own if you owned one of these out of the money now does it really act like that i mean if it expires out of the money it's worth fucking zero at the end of the day that's what it's worth so again that's with calls obviously puts operates the same but it's going to be a negative delta because the the value of your delta can be both positive and negative if it's positive then you likely want the price of bitcoin to go up if it's negative, then you are positioned for Bitcoin going down. You have exposure to the downside as opposed to the upside. Now, of course, if you sell a call, you're going to have negative deltas. If you bought, it, if you sell a put, you're going to have positive deltas. It flips on its face. Remember, um, as if you're selling, if you're selling a call, you technically want price to go down in a way. If you're selling a put, you technically want price action to go up. It's just again the opposite. So deltas in this way give us a great insight into how the price of the underlying affects our profit and loss. If 
we're getting into the more sophisticated strategies with options where we have multiple legs where we're, you know, we're, we're, we have a couple of legs on the call side, a couple of legs on the put sides, maybe even different expirations, all these different sorts of things also integrated with our spot underline. That's when things can get confusing and the Delta will very quickly tell us that, Hey, if we're positive deltas, we want price action to go up. If we're negative deltas, we want price action to go down. Of course, it's it's more complicated than that because we will need to see pro, you know positions, loss, and graphs to see where our actual risk and uh, and exposure is. But it gives us that quick, immediate look to understand what we essentially want to happen. Again, there are three other Greeks which we will get into during the next few videos. That will be Gamma, Vega, and Theta. All of them are important, but I would say that definitely del understanding Delta is the most important. Do not let these overwhelm you. Do not let these confuse you. Not, do not let these things bully you. Um, at the end of the day, it's quite literally just telling you one, the delta on the actual strike is telling you the likelihood that it is to close on that, you know, in the money. And two, the, t the delta on your position, which is going to show up over here, that's going to tell you that when price action moves, for, for every one point change in price action, that is going to be the change in your profit and loss. So in the example of having, let's just say you had one positive delta, you had, you bought a 3250 strike, which is basically one delta, um, and you bought one contract, and then for each and every move that Bitcoin goes up, you will generate one dollar on your profit and loss. Because you have one delta, so for every one dollar up, you go, you know, you make. For every one dollar down, you will lose by the same token. If we bought a put, if we bought a put, we're gonna have a negative delta. So that means that if we bought a very deep in the money put, like these forty-seven or sorry, forty-three seventy-five strike puts, then for each and every tick that the, that price action goes down on the spot underline, we will make money. For every tick that it goes up, we'll lose money up until you know the 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 value that we paid for for that you know put option. Of course. Um, so again, this video are going to be short, but don't mistake brevity for unimportance. This is incredibly important. Uh, you're likely going to want to view this multiple times. But the big things being what we just spoke about, the delta value represents what a one point change in the price of the underline equates to on your profit and loss. If you're positive delta, if you're long delta, you typically want price action to go up. For each and every one point up, you make an equal amount to your delta value. If you are short delta, you want price action to go down. As for each and every point that it prints downwards, you produce more and more profit equal to your actual total delta. So that's going to do it for this one. Again, big topic, something that will come into contact a lot. And I'm sure that'll find you well. Again, please feel free to review to, to, to view this video many times as that's what it's, it's intended for, as are all the videos in this series. For now, I'll call it a day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.